We're now just a day away from the CBS News vice presidential debate at CBS broadcast headquarters in New York City. Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio arrived in New York today. The Republican nominee has been prepping with Trump senior advisor Jason Miller and had a recent mock debate. Meanwhile, Minnesota Congressman Tom Emmer stood in for Vance's Democratic opponent, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. And Walz's last public appearance was yesterday at a farm in the battleground state of Michigan. The Harris Walls campaign tells CBS News Walls is getting debate prep help from some of the same people who helped Vice President Kamala Harris take on former President Trump in their debate in their earlier this month. As we continue tomorrow, we will, we will, of course, see the debate, first and only debate head to head between the two right here on CBS Philadelphia. The two will square off in the vice presidential debate live from New York, as we mentioned, and CBS News numbers are giving us some insight into what voters will be looking for and some new polling, I believe. Dan Snyder joins us now with a look ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, guys. 36 days away from Election Day. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hard to believe that it is that close, but it is really almost here. Vice presidential debates, they've always kind of taken a little bit of a backseat to their presidential counterparts, but over the years, we have seen some memorable moments. Remember, it was only four years ago there was the now famous I'm speaking moment as then VP Mike Pence tried to talk over current VP Kamala Harris. But CBS News Director of Elections and Surveys Anthony Salvanto tells me there's really two main reasons people say they'll be tuning into the Walls Vance debate. One, they want to find a little bit more about who these two really are. And two, they want to root for their team. And the big answer is to learn something about the candidates. But, you know, in this very partisan environment, Dan, you see these big numbers, 7 and 10, saying it's to root for their candidate, for their side. And even 6 and 10 who say it's to see if the other side is going to make a mistake. So what do each of these candidates need to accomplish tomorrow night? Well, Salvanto says, along with trying to persuade any of those undecided voters that may be out there, both men will need to make sure their supporters are excited to get out and vote. Right now, 65% of Democrats say they're enthusiastic about Governor Walls, while just 49% of Republicans say the same about Senator Vance. However, Salvanto says that number rises among voters who identify themselves as part of the MAGA movement. So for Walls and for Vance, look to not make any major gaffes and to drive turnout in November. But that's the big thing. Mm -hmm. Don't make any big mistakes that are going <laughs> right. to stand out. Very come interesting back. to see the amount of people who just want to see some drama. Right? That's what they look <laughs> that's for. That's why they're watching. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you so much. And by the way, while you're watching the debate, join us live on TikTok for real-time fact-checking with our digital reporter, Marcella Bayetto. You can find her at CBS Philadelphia.